somebody that played the game and I knew how serious I took every game, to know that there could be somebody possibly throwing that game, even the hint of it, like, disgusts me inside. Pete Rose passed away at the age of 83. Uh, we did a mini show last night about it. Ken Rosenthal joined us. Ken knew Pete, worked with him over at Fox in the studio and had some words on him. So if you want to check out that video later, you certainly can do so. It's on the FT YouTube channel. Go give that a subscribe. But here's a tweet from the National Baseball Hall of Fame Museum, which of course got everyone all riled up. And I think Pete would want us to talk about this. So of course, we're remembering a great career. He's mm -hmm. the all-time hits king. But I think he'd also want us to be like, all right, lifetime ban, it passed. Should he be allowed to get a Hall of Fame induction at some point, even though he is not with us anymore? I'm going to let Kratz go first on this one. I went yesterday. I think he should have. I think he should have an opportunity. I think it is almost like for the people who don't like it, the opportunity to get into the Hall of Fame after he's passed away is like – Kind of like I told you so kind of thing. And it's the Hall of Fame. It's not like he's it's not like he's leading, he's not there, he's not leading a country, he's not teaching our kids. It's the Hall of Fame. It's it's promoting and showing what he did in his career. I don't think any of his numbers as a player were were the numbers as a player will get him into the Hall of Fame. Numbers as a player had nothing to do with gambling in my opinion. I, I know what he's saying. You know, he's not a politician, you know, which get held to the highest standards, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Do they, though? Do they, though? We're kidding. not even going to touch on that. Because I'm kidding. that's ridiculous. But On every level. But, but Ken said miscreants are in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I learned okay, about okay. that no word. No problem with that. Miscreants, okay. whoever, why aren't steroid guys in? And if we are not holding them to the highest standard. They are in. Who? They're steroid guys in. But guys, Barry Bonds, why isn't he in? He never tested positive. I think he should be in. Why is Roger Clemens on in? I think he should be in. You want to go down that route? Well, well I'm just asking. This I, is this is now. Here's the difference. Yeah. When you go to spring training, you know, and, and listen, I bring it, chat. I don't really care what y'all do. <laughs> you should not be in the Hall of Fame. I don't care. You sign Article 21 when you go into every spring training. There is Article 21 on every wall. You do not bet on baseball. You do not bet on baseball. It is a lifetime ban if you bet on your team. It is a one-year ban if you bet on the sport in general. Like, you have to sign it. They say it in English, Spanish. They'll get it in any language that you want to hear it, okay? To me, he knew what he was doing. He just didn't think he'd get caught. He's like, I'm Pete Rose. I'll do whatever I want. Now, if we want to play this back, Shoeless Joe Jackson, Black Sox. He's, his numbers say he should be in the Hall of Fame. Why isn't he in the Hall of Fame? He got a lifetime ban. He died 100 years ago. Why don't we let him get in? We should. Oh, but we're not. He's so got what's my vote. different about Pete Rose? And Joe, Joe Jackson, there's less, less evidence on him than there is on Pete Rose. People say he didn't bet on him. He hit like 400 in that World Series. Played great. Right? Other guys admitted, yeah, we threw it. But he was like, I didn't have anything to do with it. But they still banned him for life. Why is he not in? Right? So to me, this is – it sucks. It's, it's one of those black marks on the game. But also, Pete did it to himself. And, you know, RIP, Pete, you're funny as hell. You know, everyone said you're a good guy. You know, I met you, I think, once or twice maybe, but it was real quick. But to me, he doesn't deserve it because he knew what he was doing. And this is kind of where we're at. And, you know, we're talking about politics, and we never want to get into politics on the show because it's a baseball show. Yeah. But, oh, it's okay. You did that. It's okay. We'll, 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 we'll make that go away. Well, you make decisions, and he made multiple decisions to make bets on a team he was managing. Now, he always bet to win, as far as we know. Okay? Mm -hmm. Fine. That's the, the evidence we have, that he only bet on a team to win. Fine. But did he know more about what was going on than anybody off the street? Because he's in the dugout? Yeah, of course. of course. Did he bet on a game when he was playing in it? Did he strike out in that game with, like, guys on base? But should he be banned from baseball or the Hall of Fame? Well, they go hand in hand. Good. Why? Why? Because he's banned from everything Major League Baseball related. And the Hall of Fame is not going to get him in. He didn't get voted in. Right? Yeah. And so he's not going to get voted in now. I mean, unless some veterans committee. But they're never going to put him on the ballot. That was my only question is, 
feel like there's a lot of shadiness in the Hall of Fame. Of course there is. If you don't want a player involved, of course, in the sport as a player, a manager, really anything, can't even step foot in a ballpark, the whole deal, cool, get it. That's violation of ethics of the sport. But there's a lot of players who did some really bad things. And I'm not talking about off the field. I'm talking about on the field, right, that were not allowed and still ended up in the Hall of Fame. No, uh, listen, I'm not listen, I'm not saying anything about the type of person Pete was or yeah. anything. But there is one rule that is sacred in baseball, and it's gambling on the game because it affects the integrity. Of the, we've seen NFL no guys. We've seen guys in college now. Like, NFL guys are getting popped for gambling on NFL games. Like, they're losing a year. Calvin Ridley, remember? He just lost a year. He but if he was the best player ever, would he be banned from the pro football I don't know what their rules fame? are. I don't know what their rules are, but it says right. banned from Major League Baseball for life. Yeah. And and. And the Hall of Fame is going to follow Major League Baseball's lead. They're right. not going to say, oh, we're the Hall of Fame. You're MLB. You, you, oh, you guys banned him, but we'll let him into the Hall of Fame over here. Mm-hmm. Right? And listen, I appreciate the people that say he should be in. I, I understand your argument. But coming from somebody that was in that clubhouse and had to sign Article 21 all the time, and listen, there's guys that, you know, like gambling. It's cool. But I don't know. In my opinion – Go ahead, roast me. Uh, it's fine. Bring it on. I don't really. That's care. fine. No, that's why you do the show. You but I don't really opinion. care. That's my yeah. opinion, and I just don't think, as a former player, that listen. I played for John Coppolella. He got banned from baseball for life, for, mm-hmm. but he got reinstated. Yes. Right, but his was completely different. He paid some kids. He did some. He Still, did it sacrifices great. the integrity of the game that we create a system in place yes, so that everyone has what, a fair shot at Article international prospects. Is, yeah, but I'm saying for Coppolella, like. You do this because you have a fair shot at international prospects. He was cheating the system so that they could get better prospects. Yeah. And then they took all those prospects away and banned them for life. He got right. back in Once he got caught. five years. Yeah. yeah. Not that I don't think he'll ever get a job in baseball again. Because, I, I mean, maybe someday, but it's going to be tough. Yeah, he's not running a front office yeah. anytime soon. Yeah. It, it would be like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a touchy subject, and I understand it. And, I understand, and I, again, I appreciate the people that say he should be in, and I understand their reasons. But for me – just as somebody that played the game and I knew how serious I took every game, to know that there could be somebody possibly throwing that game, even the hint of it, like, disgusts me inside. Yeah. Because, you know, like, the steroid guys. Like, guys I know that did steroids, like, to me, they're, they, they it hurts me because, I like, I was clean. And I know how hard I had to work to get to that point. And then the guys that did it, I don't know. It just, it, it's kind of like, man, you know, if there's a little bit inside of you, that's like, maybe I should have done them. Kratz like, man, man, I would have got paid way more money. I would have hit more home runs maybe. Yep. But there's also a piece of me that I'm like, glad, glad I didn't really glad I didn't. Right. Cause totally. I can look at my family and say, I didn't cheat at what I was doing. I busted my ass every day in the waiter and busted my ass to play every day. Mm-hmm. Right. But to, to even, Again, to even think that there's one shred of a guy throwing a game on purpose, that there's 24, 25 other guys busting their ass to win, that, that like hurts my soul to even think about Yeah, it. I can feel it. I can feel it. That makes sense. That's why we do this show. It's a good perspective there. FT fam, it's time to get back on a good workout routine. No matter what time that is for you, Anytime Fitness has your back. Also, I'll throw this out there. If you've recently moved, that Anytime Fitness website is a must visit with access to 5,000 plus well-equipped gyms open 24 seven. Just type in your location and get ready for a gym experience that is truly there for you. Yep, and the support doesn't end with training. Be smarter with your body and get help with sleep data, health metrics, nutrition, and recovery. Take the name of the brand literally. Okay, it's a gym experience that fits your schedule and download the Anytime Fitness app that we love generating custom workouts to keep things fresh. So this fall at Anytime Fitness, it's all about you versus you, prioritizing your best self by getting back into your fitness routine. To claim your free Anytime Fitness trial pass, visit anytimefitness.com and get yours today. We'll also drop that link in the description of this episode. Check out more info and claim that free trial pass at anytimefitness.com. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball, the way it should be covered, 